Burial Practices of Ancient Egypt by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Introduction The Afterlife Egyptians believed in life after death. When a person died, Egyptians would say that that person headed west. Why do you think they said that? It's because they would view the west as the land of the dead. Please make a note of that. All pyramids were built west of the Nile River. However, if a pyramid was built east of the Nile River, it was not a tomb, but a temple for, that celebrated life. The Egyptians believed that the dead would need their bodies in the afterlife. They preserve their bodies through embalming, which is another name for mummification. This process took about 70 days. Please take a moment and highlight life after death, headed west, west of the Nile, 70 days. So the question is, what is embalming? What is the process? Step one. The organs were removed by an embalmer. It started with the brain being pulled out through the nose with a hook. Hopefully you're not eating right now. If you are, sorry. The only organ that was left inside the body was the heart. Why? Because they believed that the gods judged the dead by their heart. Do you know what they judged it against? If you said a feather, you're correct. And that represented mat. M-A apostrophe A-T. Please write that in and circle that with a highlighter. I'm going to check it. Please also take a moment and highlight brain pulled out, nose with a hook. Only organ inside the heart. Again, what's going on here? What is embalming, Mr. Amster? In step two, they packed all of the other organs into jars with a special salt called natron. Na in natron is where it get, salt gets its name on the periodic table. Bet you didn't know that. The embalmers also used natron to dry out the body. The body was also then stuffed with linen to help dry it out even more. These are an example of the jars that were used, the four canopic jars, C-A-N-O-P-I-C. Please write that down at this time. And please highlight special salt, natron. Step three. Once the body was dried out, they washed it 
and oiled the body. In step four, they began to wrap it with linen. Step five, decorate. The mummy was decorated with jewelry and charms. Once the charms and jewelry were on, another layer of linen was wrapped around the mummy to hold those in. What are these charms? Well, we'll take a peek at those tomorrow. Many times, the mummies would also have a mask. But that was more if you were very wealthy. Please take a moment and highlight decorated, jewelry, and charms. Step six. The embalmers, the people who did the mummification, spread a gooey black gum over the body and once again would wrap it in linen. With the mummification process complete, the mummy would be placed inside a wooden box. That box would be placed inside a sarcophagus, also known as a large stone coffin, much like our modern day coffins. Ancient Egyptians believed that the afterlife would be similar to life on Earth. Well, if it's like that, what are some things you think you might need? A soccer ball? A football? For some of you, I'm sure you'd want your iPad or iPhone. But for them, it was very different. Before we move on, please highlight sarcophagus, stone coffin, afterlife similar life on to life on earth here are some burial items that they would bring with them they include food you might get hungry in the afterlife you need some food a drink potentially wine beer maybe some water get thirsty furniture you gotta have a nice place to sit in the afterlife, you know? You're chilling out. Statues. They would have things called Shabdi. Now, those of you who have read the Cain Chronicles learned about Shabdi. They would be their servants, supposedly, in the afterlife. They would bring gold and jewelry because, you know, you gotta look fashionable when you're in the afterlife. And clothing. You know, you got to have a couple outfits if you're going to go out and hang out with other people. Some games, pass the time, and mirrors. Got to check out, make sure you look good, make sure the hair's all correct. Make sure all the makeup's on. Burial rituals. Do you think everyone could afford mummif the mummification process? The answer is no. It was expensive. If you recall in, old, in the Old Kingdom that only the, the pharaoh and the nobles got mummified. And although many people in the New Kingdom would as well, it still wasn't f for everybody. However, poor Egyptians would be wrapped in cloth and buried with some items to help them in the afterlife, like bread, beer, and other items that may help them survive. 
but the whole larger process of mummification and the wooden box and all that might not be for everyone, but they would get mummified. Pretty cool, huh? The end.